Hi everyone, Erin here from Queen of Ants um, and today I thought I'd run through what your ants brood should look like as they're developing. So here we have a nice banded sugar ant queen. Unfortunately this lady has lost a leg so she's part of my uh, personal collection and she has quite a few nice little worker ants in here already and a nice pile of brood. So if we start looking just here, you can see a very small little larvae. So this one would have not long hatched out of the egg. And the eggs usually look like little round, either white to yellow or even orange dots. Uh, and then once they hatch, they turn into a little larvae like this one. So this little larvae will grow and grow and grow as the queen and the worker ants feed it. And it will turn into a larvae like this big one. Now this one is probably just about ready to spin her cocoon. You can see the black dot in the middle, that's her uh, stomach and the little curved head at the top there. So once she is fully grown as a larva, she will spin a cocoon which looks like this. Yeah, this worker ants in the way. So these big papery looking long things are the cocoons. So the larvae actually spin the cocoon with their own silk. And then once they're in the cocoon, they will undergo metamorphosis and transform into the worker ants. The little black dot on the end, again, is the digestive area of the cocoon. As your cocoons grow, these ones here are quite new cocoons. They've still got a way to go, but they will darken as they age and almost shrivel a little bit once they're ready to enclose, the adults are ready to enclose out of the cocoons. So that just gives you a little bit of an idea of what to look for in your developing brood. Thanks everyone, bye.